Hello, my name is Kristen Fry, and I'm one of three functions math teachers here at Orono High School. The purpose of this video is to give you some information similar to what your students see in class every day. First, here's just a little bit about me, give you a little bit of a background. This is my 25th year teaching high school math, my 21st year here at Orono High School. Some of your students had me as a teacher last year in Algebra 2. I have two cats, Diesel and Harley, and they often like to participate in my lessons, which is very fun. Uh, this summer, I enjoyed gardening, spending time outdoors, and cooking. One thing that your student will be required um, to do every day, whether they are a hybrid learner or a distance learner, is take attendance. Each day, they log into my Schoology page and watch a short daily note video, which gives them the breakdown for their tasks that day. Then there's an attendance question that they answer, and their response counts for their credit that day for being in class. If your student has not logged in by the end of the school day, they are marked absent. If your student has an appointment or isn't feeling well, please call them into the attendance line like you would um, on a typical day or a typical school year. If by chance your student logs in later in the day for whatever reason they had things going on or they couldn't log in during the day, they can email me, we'll resolve their absence and we'll be good to go. On occasion, we'll do some live streaming through Google Meets. If that's a requirement for your student and they're at home, I will let them know well in advance that we have something like that coming up along with the link that they need to participate. Everything that we do is on Schoology. We will not have a book this year. Everything that we do will be posted there for your student. You'll have a link to the weekly calendar that'll show you the daily note video and their attendance question. Each week has a folder and embedded in that folder is their daily folders, which will include video lessons, they'll have check-in quizzes to take for a little self-assessment afterwards, and then their assignment for the day, whether it be to submit a picture of your notes on Schoology or to work on an assignment and submit a photo of that. All assignments will be uploaded on Schoology and there's a video that students watched on the first day that gives them details on how to do that. Uh, I will show you Schoology in just a moment, but I want to quickly go through our syllabus um, and let you know kind of the expectations for class. We'll cover a lot of content that's similar to what your student covered last year in Algebra 2. What makes functions class unique is that there's more application and word problems associated with it. So kind of building on what they learned last year and maybe adding some intensity to it. Our grading will come from some formative and summative work, which I hope sounds familiar. Formative work will count for 40% of their grade this year. And that formative work includes a lot of things, it includes daily notes. So they take students watch video lessons and take notes and submit a copy of those notes to me to let me know that they stayed on task and that they're writing the important parts down like examples and definitions that will help them be successful on their assignments. They'll have those daily check-in quizzes for almost every lesson. It's two or three or maybe four questions that uh, they can use their notes as a guide and work through those problems and see how they did, a little self-assess, and then their daily homework. Um, assignments will be worth four points. Doing their notes and taking their quizzes is also worth four points each day. Summative work will be their uh, chapter tests in the semester final, and that will count for 60% of their grade. And one of the nice things about having those daily kind of folders and tasks for students, it'll be really easy for your student to know if they're staying caught up or if they're missing anything, I can tell them exactly where to submit that for credit. Um, as, as long as students have completed all of their daily work on time by the chapter test, if by chance they have not reached that 80% benchmark on their test, they can retake up to 80%. Um, when we give tests, that's not written on here, but when we give tests, students will test during their in-class time. So A hybrid learners will take it on the day they're here. Same with B hybrid learners. If you have a distance learner, they will be asked to log in on the appropriate A or B day based on their last name. Uh, they'll log in through a Google Meet and they'll just take their test during that time. We won't have a test for a little while. We're uh, still in kind of some review from last year. Uh, so once we get closer to that testing time, I'll send out a more detailed kind of description of that process. Our grade scale is a pretty standard math grade scale. 93% is required for an A, 90 for an A minus, and so on. Students need 60% or higher to get credit for the semester. 
let's see, materials, you'll need a school approved device, a laptop, Chromebook, something like that, charged every day. I encourage students to bring their charger just in case, especially since they have functions in the afternoon, um, their laptop might be a little bit low, so we can get, we have, I have outlets throughout my room, they can plug them in and be ready to go. Uh, headphones or earbuds as they do listen to video lessons and then it's just not as distracting if you know several students have the video going at once that would be crazy uh, to hear my voice over and over goodness um calculator they would just need a scientific calculator this year however a graphing calculator would work as well having utensils and paper and that sort of thing every day and then we have extras um, that i just give to students if they need them and they can keep them a planner is not required but always a great opportunity to help students stay organized Everything else, I just ask that students wear their mask correctly at all designated times. So far, they've been rock stars. They've, we've had no issues in my class with that, which has been wonderful. The same with being respectful and nice and on time and prepared. They've all been great so far, which is wonderful. Cell phones, uh, I just ask that students put them away when the bell rings and work on our content during class. As time allows at the end, if they have nothing else left for me to do, they can look on devices and work on other things if they need to, that's not a problem. I always tell students they're their best advocate if they feel that they need some help outside of school or outside of class if they're at home. I have office hours that I'll talk about and I strongly encourage students to check in with me. Always ask for help, I'm always willing to help. My office hours, I have something every day. It just kind of depends on what my schedule will look like after school. I'm available from 11.06 to 11.36 and then 2.40 to 3.15. Uh, all I ask is that if a student would like to meet during that Google or during that time uh, through a Google Meet, that they just email me to set up an appointment. So the last thing that I have for you is I'll quickly show you what your student's Schoology page looks like so that if you ever see it or you want to look at it to see what's happening in their week, you're always welcome to look through their kind of screen. So here's uh, everything that we'll do in functions class. This was the last week was red. This week is orange. Up at the very top is their Google Meet information and that'll stay the same. And then our syllabus, if you'd like to look at that in more detail for week two. I'll show you just kind of what's happening this week in functions class. We have that weekly agenda at the top and as students click on that, they can see the breakdown for the A hybrid students, the B hybrid students and the distance learners. And you'll notice that as we kind of finish this chapter, we'll start to change up a little bit what A and B look like. So students can access this weekly agenda to know exactly what's going to be expected. So looking at today, Monday, September 14th, if students click on this day, everything they need is right here. They've got their little quick daily note video. It's about two minutes today, just breaking down um, what their tasks are. That attendance question that I referenced. Students are watching a video lesson today for P4. P is a prerequisite chapter, so our review chapter. And they'll take notes. There's a short three question or four question quiz um, based on those notes. And then all they need to do is take a picture of their notes and submit it onto Schoology for credit. And that's going to be kind of the consistency with our class this semester. If you have any questions at any time, you're welcome to email me. My email is on the syllabus. Otherwise, I hope we have a great, a great year. So thank you for your time.